Welcome to another video on related rates of change. Uh, again, I just have I haven't erased them from the last video. I'm just going to have these four rules because again, they're going to be key to answering our question. And we have a new example. Okay, so in this one, our example is going to be so we have a circular cylinder. Okay, so this is a, a cylinder. Um, the radius is or centimeters and the height is four or centimeters. Okay, so the radius is or and the height is always four times the radius. Uh, the radius is increasing at a rate of 0 0.5 centimeter per second, okay? And that means that the height is also increasing. Uh, and when the radius is 6 centimeters, find the rate at which the volume is increasing. So I just have it in bullet point form instead of a paragraph, but that's all the information you're going to need, okay? So we're going to go through, again, we're going to go through our methodology. So the first step is, we scroll up, write the rate that we want. So the rate we want is the rate at which the volume is increasing. So volume is V. And the rate of something is with respect to time. So we're going to write dv dt. Okay, so the rate of change of volume with respect to time. The rate at which the volume is increasing. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Write the rate that we're given. Okay, we're going to do a second one. Number two, the right rate that we're given is the radius is increasing at a rate of 0 0.5 centimeters per second. So we're going to write d or dt is equal to 0 0.5. And the next one, link the two rates. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now number three, we're gonna have link the two rates is gonna be so we're gonna have dv dt is gonna be equal to d or dt times and I'll go orange again something in between that's gonna give us dv dt eventually so it's gonna be a dv on the top because there's dv on the top here, and it has to cancel with this dr, so it's dv dr. Does that make sense? So again, that's the way to always to try and link them. And now to find, our step four, sorry, is what rate do you need to find? So we need to find dv dr, and if we go back to our, our last example, if we think back to it, we have to find the, the area of the circle, and this one, we're just gonna have to find it, uh, the volume of the cylinder, okay? So volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, okay, which in this case is equal to pi by r squared by 4 r, because h is going to be 4 times the height, does that make sense? Uh, so that means it's equal to 4 pi r cubed, okay, so that's what v is, so if we have v we can find dv dr. Okay, so it's the same every single time, you're going to get to this step and then once you have this step it's all about finding your dv dr and most of the time you have to go to your area or your volume uh, equation so just look for that in the log tables and then you differentiate it okay so dv dr and um, that's going to give us 12 pi or squared if we differentiate this so now we have this we can sub it straight back up into this formula here okay actually i'm going to sub it into here first so dv dr is equal to 12 pi r squared, so 12 pi r squared, and dr dt is 0 0.5. So if we sub that into our dv dt here, and we also know that the radius is 6 centimeters, so I'll just do this all in light blue again, we're going to have 12 by pi, so I'm going to do these all in separate brackets, by r squared, which is going to be 6 squared, okay, by 0 0.5. I'm going to stick that all into your calculator and you're going to get 216 pi centimeter cubed per second, okay? And centimeter cubed because that's the unit for volume. So again, that isn't the most important thing in the world. The most important is that you get your number right, okay? So go through that quickly one more time just in case uh, none of that made sense or uh, hopefully some of it made sense, but in case anything... Part of it didn't make sense. So again, we have a circular cylinder. The cylinder is this shape here. The radius is or centimeters and the height is four or, like we have shown in the diagram. Uh, the radius is increasing at a rate of 0 0.5 centimeters per second. When the radius is six centimeters, find the rate at which the volume is increasing. So we follow our steps. The first one is to write down what we're looking for, which is the rate at which the volume is increasing, dv dt. The second one is to write down what we're given, which is d or dt. The third step is to link the two. So we say dv dt, what we're looking for, is equal to, we write what we do know, which is d or dt, 
and then we fill in the gap here. Okay, so you, you have to just make this up. You have to fill in the gap to make sure that it fits. So we write DV, DOR. And then the fourth step, like we said, most of the time, you have to find your volume, your area function, and then you differentiate that to find your DV, DOR. And then it's just summing all the values back into your original one and summing the numbers. So again, hopefully that made sense. Hopefully I didn't go through it too quickly. Um, but the questions are quite similar, even though each one is a different shape. It's the same four steps. If you go through these, uh, you should find it handy enough. Okay, thanks for watching.